G'day guys and welcome to World of Tanks with the Magnificent Margon. Well, no I'm not going to talk about the BKT-6 even though I've, I've had a few good battles lately once again on this tank. Um, I, I really didn't feel it was necessary. As you can see I've got all my tier 6 lined up. Now I've, the reason is I've done this is because I'm actually playing a lot more tier 6 at the moment. Um, because that's what Shojimaru has actually got at the moment. He has a tier 6 tank. So I'm half heartedly grinding out the um, VK31P. Um, so I'm aiming to get my Tiger P. I, I sort of thought, while I've got a chance to actually grind this tank, why not give it a bit of a bit of a workout? So at the same time, um, Kaz is working his tank. I can't remember which one it is. One of the German TDs, I think. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. Um, and I've been doing my AT8 as well. So, yeah, AT8's not doing too bad for me lately. It's a, it's a slow grind. I've, I've, as you can see, unlocked everything. Um, so I've only got 35,000 left to get the AT7, which will be great. I don't mind the AT8. Um, it's not a bad tank. It's taken me a bit to get used to. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Like I've still got the G2. Don't mind the G2. It's not a bad tank, but I haven't got a train crew on it. Um, Churchill. Yeah, I, I played a couple of battles. I played two battles recently when Shojimaru's been on um, and Kaz. I just I don't know. It's it's been a long time since I played this tank, and it just it works and it's not working for me. Like I'm just not getting the high alpha damage I'd like. Um, I get it's pretty well elated out. Um, I don't know whether I'm using the right gun. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm 45, 35, 48. No, 40. Yeah, I'm using the gun I should be using. So I don't know. It just I, I I just I don't know. I I, I can't play the church very well. Um, I know its weaknesses. So. I look after it probably too much and I'm a bit more careful in it than what I used to be. Um, as I said, VK36, still a wonder. Haven't actually played my Hellcat as of yet with um, Kaz and Shorujumaru. I did play a bit of the KV1. Now I do like the KV1. You've seen, my, I have a review that I've done on it, so it's up. So it's not bad. So, but can't play the light tank. Harsh matchmaking and stuff, so, but. I don't really need to farm my 12T, so that's okay. But um, the, the one thing I'm going to show you is I, I had one battle today, and it was on my KV2, and it was the last yeah, the last couple of battles that I played. Now, KV2 is a great tank. Now, there are plenty of reviews out there on it. I'll probably do a review down the track, but I doubt they're ever really going to change this tank too much. It's it's it, it, it's balanced and it's not balanced at the same time. Um, KV2 is a wrecking ball, and I use it a lot of the time to farm for a lot of free XP. It is a great tank. It, it's almost a guaranteed win a lot of the time. Um, it's elite, as you can see. Everything's unlocked on it. I use the 152mm M10. Um, just load HEs, that 910 damage. Well, that's a KV1's hit points, basically, I'm pretty sure. 910, KV1, 810. So there you go. You're pretty well one-shotting anything at tier 6. So any tank, tier 6, 800, 570, 950. Ooh, that might not be quite a one-shot on the VK36. It might be able to actually survive the HE. Doubt it, but it might be able to. Um, maybe if I hit there on that point. I don't know where the weak points really are other than front prey, lower base shot cup holder sides pretty well weak so yeah it might be able to stand up to it tog well tog's in a different sort of category to itself it's just a, a health sponge that waddles along but tog is a lovely machine you can't go past getting a tog i, I do enjoy i haven't played my tog for a while now but i just didn't have much luck on it so yeah most of the um the, the kv2 is a great tank um KV1, yeah, it's good. Um, I do like my KV1, um, but KV2, yeah, it's it, it, it's something you just jump in 
just to blow stuff up. That, that's all it's there for. And I don't know, this this game, it was just brilliant. I just, it lined everything up and I absolutely loved it. And it worked. Um, and it was great. So that you couldn't ask for a better match. Um, my KV1 hasn't got terrific hold armor, 50, uh, 75, pretty well all around. KV1S, turret armor's 100. 90, 90, 70, 60, 60, but if I KV-1 is, KV-1, KV-1's got better turret armor than all of them, KV-1 is a, a tier 5 awesome tank. Now, as you can see on my KV-1, I don't actually use, um, which one is it? That one, I believe, the 122. Yes, yeah, so the 122. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just that's the one Kaz uses, and I, I might actually do a hell of a lot better if I did load the other one up in the KV one. But I've never actually, I've never been very good with it. So maybe I'll have to give that a, a, a try, uh, more or less. Um, I've always been good with making sure my shots hit. And the other day, Kaz said to me. Um, why do you not use you, you, in your um, in the um, Austin? The, you use your HE gun, but in the KV one you don't. What's going on? And I've always said to him, "Well, look, I I find the the 85 millimeter just that much better for me than the um, the 122." I'm pretty sure he uses the 122, and he's always looked at me. And the other day he said, "Well." What are you afraid you're going to put me to shame if you use it? Well, I'm not afraid. I just, I, I've never been very good with a, a, a blow me up gun at tier 5 on this tank. Whereas this one, let's have a look. Uh, it's 410 and 370, I think the other one was. So give and take. Um, I each to their own, really. You each play your tank how you feel comfortable playing, and I've never really felt comfortable unless I'm doing. And I suppose that when I started playing the KV1, it was in a time where I preferred to have nothing but penetration. Um, this tank I actually did have for a long time, the 7.5 on, so I was very keen on that. It's only recently that I've been more game to put sort of wrecking ball sort of weaponry one tank. So maybe that, that that's a sign that I'm I'm coming around and becoming more versatile with my tanks and trying to trying to be more sort of okay, let's let's not be penetration, let's just do damage and play smart. And I do play my tanks very smart now. So yeah, you can't complain. So anyway. K V two is the one I'm gonna show you today once again. I know K V two's got lots of spotlights um with me, but I, I do like this tank, and, I, and I've had some great matches tonight on it, and I think it deserves the honour that I'm about to give it. So here we go, let's go over to the battle. Alrighty then, guys, here we go, Westfall, uh, Westfall, <laughs> wrong map, Westfield. Um, now, I've never been very confident uh, with this map, I just, uh, I, I don't know, I, I can never be in the right place at the right time to do the right thing. So oh, it's, it's just never quite worked out for me. So, as you can see, we're actually sitting still here for a long time. And Kaz has said to me, what do you want to do? And I go, well, frig if I know. I don't know. And, and all of a sudden he's gone, right, let's go to middle. And he's made the call, and I go, okay, let's follow. Um, at the same time, Shoji Mario, as you can see in his VK36 beside me, has, when he's sitting behind me, he goes, can I shoot you through your, um, door at the back and I'm sitting there going, you shoot me and I will blow you up. One shot. But he probably will be one shot me because that's pretty much the ammunition is of this tank. So you can probably find the ammo rack and there's a massive turret on my middle of the battlefield with a dead tank or something. Um, we've come up here. I've seen the KV-1S. I've lined him up as you can see. You can see I've actually said the KVs. you going to fire? And you're going, yes. I'm like, okay, cool. Save both of us firing on the one target. Um, basically, if he fires, he can then pull back um, 
and then not have to worry about and then I've got my guns to blow there. The T29's pulled up there. I wasn't real happy with that. That's okay. Now we've all fired this KV-1. Fire and I've just I, I've just said that's gone over its back now and I've I've seen it and I've watched this thing fight. No but now everybody's missed this tank and this KV-1's probably stood in the gun one. Did I just survive? And then he got hit. Um Now I'm just sitting here. I'm not doing much else. It's sort of one of those things where, at this point in time, now we were all making decisions. As you can see, we're, we're, we're sort of spread out. Um, Kaz is sniping across the field. Shojimaru is sort of using the bushes as cover, not realizing that the position he's in is not a bad position if he shoots through those bushes. Um, and they're the things we have explained to him, but at the same time, we don't know whether they've sunk in. Yeah. Um, so I've seen the SU-152 and thought, you know what, I've got to get into a position where I can shoot him. And Kaz going, let's go really low down into the town. Which is fair enough. I don't, I don't mind. That's a, not a bad idea, in my opinion. There he is. I just take my time. I've been shot. Take my time. As you can see. Perfect shot. Taking three, four hits. I've used my uh, large repair kit. Five hits, and I'm like, okay, there's half an hour gone. Okay, that that one shot was a very costly shot. Okay, so I thought, let's take it easy. Let's calm down. Okay, I I don't want to take too many more risks because I need to keep my gun in play. It's not a bad gun, but it's a gun that I need to keep in play. There's the national one. He's dropped off the edge of the cliff. And I'm like, okay, he's no longer really a threat. Um, and this is basically where the game changed. Um, you can see the north, they've got the T29 up there, the two of them, and the SU-152. Now, it's not too bad when you think about it. Um, Kaz is over there to my right. Mr. Jellos is fallen back a bit. And that's okay. Um, so, I'm just, I'm just taking my time, lining up my shots. Scumbag is shooting over towards Kaz. I saw the E8 now, and I thought, can I hit him? No, I can't hit him. Yes, you no, I can't hit yes, him. And then, I'm, I know around now, if Kaz has gone, oh, that 29's a threat. We need to do something about the 29. Um, which is where I've went. Okay, cool. I can deal with the 29. He's taken a hit there. Take my time about this. Line up the shot. Take him down. Now, that's one threat. That's one of the major threats down. Pull back in the cover behind my little house because I'm pretty sure the scumbag is somewhere over that way. I don't know exactly where he is. I'm just crossing my fingers. There goes the other 29. So now we've got a lot of breathing room. And I've basically gone, alright, are we going to... Uh, and I actually said, let's wait for the guys on the left to push up, just in case there's a few surprises. Kaz has gone, nah, I'm, I'm calling Trumpet. Oh, okay, alright, well, I better go support you. We're playing Trumpet ears, so let's go charge. Now, the E25's there. I'm, I'm thinking of taking clutch shots, but the yeah, Kaz and I haven't been able to hit tonight. I'm using clutch shots, so what's the point of clutching if you're not going to hit the target? And no shots. Okay. Now, this is the funny bit. There's Shoja Marjorie. Okay. Look at that speed. And we're like, what? The bench going, charge! <laughs> And this is the funny bit, he's come barreling through here, ready to hit that E8, and the E8's moved, and he's going, oh, I missed him, <laughs> and it was just like, alright, looks like we're charging, so I've run down, bang, pushed him in the back, pull back, two seconds, and then I'm pulling my gun right now, and I'm aiming at 25, oh, the E8's pulled in front, and Shoji Murray's gone, don't worry bud, I'll take a shot for you. 
So it's actually been one of those moments where it just, it was funny. And um, you can just see why. Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe when Shoji Mario actually just charged in. It was like, charge! And we're like, what are you doing? And <laughs> it just somehow paid off for him. So we've got in, finishing it off. And I've said, all right, we're going to keep moving. There is a guy on the hill shooting. There's his shot. The Ram 2 has been spotted. We none of us have the gun appreciation to actually shoot him. And that is pretty well the game. So now there was that turning point in that game where... I think Kaz had the right idea, that mid area. Now I've gone to that top side of town a lot in different tanks. Um, and it seems to work a lot better for me. So I think I'm going to have to have a lot more confidence and take my tanks there. Um, I've, you've got to have a tank with a little bit of speed though to get there. It is a fair distance from the starting zone. It's for both sides. Um, so, really, what I do recommend is, um, I'm trying to think of the words to use. Yeah, you, it, it's the, really the, the, the KVs being some of the heaviest tanks, um, particularly the KV2, TOGs, and things like that. You, you're really going to push it getting there. But if you do get there, it can be a good position because, as you can see, you can snipe the hills or work the hills and you can sort of you can sort of use that position to scope out what's around you a bit more um, so I really did in the end enjoy this match and we, we played probably four battles in the KV2 between Kaz and I uh, it just didn't seem to work very well so yeah hope you like this guy um uh, guy guys or girls depending on what sex you are that watches this video so I know there are a lot of computer gamer girls these days I actually know one myself um, she plays World of Warcraft um, so I may be joining her when I go back and play on Warlords of um, Adrenals and uh, join team up with her doing a few quests and grinding it out and just doing random dungeons and instances and stuff like that and, and sort of I'll probably show off the instances I do a one run through basically um, and, and in bits and pieces like that, I'm probably going to focus a bit more on the garrison stuff and I'll do a little bit of a review on it when the time comes. So, yeah, that that's down the track. So you'll probably, you'll probably meet her. I don't know what her gaming name is. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up. Um, and, or I even just ask her, but that might be the easiest thing to do. So, yeah. Um, I really don't think I'm going to be doing a 100 episode, thank you, with all the guys together. It's just becoming a little bit difficult. So we might just pursue along and try to organise a a time that we can do it later down the track. Um, and it might be just a, 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 something random. Um, a few weeks' time, uh, Blackadder actually gets on holidays. Um, Northern Territory in Australia has different holiday scheme. They actually have a longer break in the centre of the year. Um, I only have a two week break and my week that I have off I'm currently going off to a um, a camp thing that I help out for which goes for a week. So I'll be not playing through the daytime as much but I'll be playing probably most of the nights um, while that's happening. So that's okay. That's all wonderful and good. So yeah. If you like this guys, as everyone does, KV2, what, what's not to like about this tank? Like, come on. Kaz has got a great KV2, oh, I've got a great KV2, and Shojimaru, he, I'm sure he would love to get a KV2, and I know that Mr. Jellos, um, and I know you watch these Mr. Jellos, so you should hurry up and get on so you can get a KV2 and be like a wrecking ball. And I reckon just playing with a group of KV2s would just be hilarious. Maybe just you just gotta time it though, so you don't all fire at one target because that would just be, yeah, you would die. <laughs> so yeah, uh, liking, subscribing, uh, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, if you're interested in this sort of stuff, I do post a lot of War Thunder stuff too. Um, probably due to do a little War Thunder again. Um, that might be tomorrow. I might play some uh, British planes. I've got my tier three Spitfighter, as you all know. The first one, the um, 
SP5 uh, Mark V Prot or Trot um, Trot. Um, I also have um, my Russian tanks I'm playing. So probably jump on and do a little bit of tanky tanks and that. I haven't played that for about a week or so now. Um, so yeah, uh, there, there's plenty of stuff on my channel. There's probably a hundred videos right now. So I might actually just do. Uh, a small one up tomorrow to say thank you, or in, probably do. I'll actually do a few intros up too, so they might they might come out as well as part of the 100th episode um, of or YouTube episode, basically something like that. Um, uh, Facebook page is there. Email is there if you wish to send me an email of whatever description. I, I don't mind watching people's replays of either Tanks or War Thunder. I'm pretty sure you can send the War Thunder files across and I can um, play them using my computer. Um, so if you're interested in sending me stuff that could help me improve on Tanks. Um, I know that the one tank that um, Kaz is having trouble with is actually his object 416. Don't know why, but it just doesn't seem to work for him for some strange reason, and he's pretty well rage quitted it. I, 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 I haven't played one. Um, I, I, I probably do need to grind one up to see what it's like. He likes the A44 more, so I don't know. I'll have to investigate that down the track. Um, I've got too many tanks I'm grinding at the moment. I need to probably start um, more or less channel grinding and focusing on one, and I think it's going to be my Tiger 2, it's the closest one to uh, leveling up to tier 9, uh, more or less, and getting my e, um, E75, Loved. I'm thinking that's where I need to start focusing on through the daytimes and stuff when I do play tanks, I uh, didn't play much tanks today, uh, I was very busy running around because I got hit up the arse, uh, not me hit up the arse, but my car did uh, yesterday, so I have to get that repaired, which has been organised, and I had to do that organisation today. So, yeah, outside of that, guys, not much else I can say. KB2, wonderful tank, plenty of people reviewed it. Uh, check out the Mighty Jingles, I'm pretty sure Quickie Baby has it as well. Um, it's just a, well, it's a troll tank that's very, very powerful. So, yeah, happy hunting, guys. I'll catch you on that battlefield.